I have fished all day. This is my first bite. We were headed back to the truck. All day. Z-Man in the face. You know guys, we actually do have a sponsor for today's video, even though we have not caught a single fish yet. And that video sponsor is Better Boat. They reached out to me and they said, hey, of our product lines, you know, are there any, any of the things that you feel would fit your style of fishing or your videos? I was like, absolutely. The one I want to share today is kind of not an intended use of their product, but it's I'm going to use it on their product. So um, I'm going to link a video somewhere. I shot a video a while back on the old school tips and tricks video for how to keep your gear from rusting really bad. I don't want to lose all that tackle. So um, let's go back to the truck. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use to prevent that. And this is an experiment because I haven't used it for it yet, but as soon as I saw the product, I knew exactly what I was gonna do with it. I'm back at the house. I know I was supposed to go back to the truck and film this, but I had two kids with me, so it didn't work out, but that's how Way of Fisher rolls. What I wanted to show you guys was this. Um, no, I'm not sponsored by Pepsi. Everybody always asks me that. I am not. I do work for discounttackle.com, but I am not sponsored by Pepsi. So this is a, a product from Better Boat. I recently, they reached out, we talked, I got a bunch of things from them and I'm gonna use uh, some other products in another video. This is eco-friendly boat desalt. I'll link the video up here, but a while ago I did a video, it's an old school hack about using diluted antifreeze to stop the rust on your baits. Um, when Better Boat reached out to me, the first thing I saw on the website was this and I knew immediately that this could potentially replace my use of antifreeze to keep my baits from rusting. All right, so let's set that down. And I wanna show you guys something. So here, I've got a collection of saltwater hard baits that have been in this can for 36 hours. One, I need to test to make sure that it's not gonna strip uh, bait finishes and all that sort of thing, make them cloudy, hazy. Um, so that's this one test. I'm gonna walk over here real quick and get you, the birds where I live are so loud, get you the baits that I've already treated from the trip that I was supposed to shoot this video on, right? So we went fishing in salt in Virginia and got back, cut the baits off, dunked them in the Better Boat desalt solution and then rinsed them. So these baits I'm gonna show you, I left in the boat desalt for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, the instructions, it gives you instructions for hose, spray nozzle, nozzle, immersion, and then how to flush an outboard, okay? So for immersion, you're supposed to completely immerse them for three to five minutes and then rinse with clean, fresh water and then allow them to air dry. So these other ones over here, I rinsed, I soaked them for 10 minutes, 10 or 15, rinsed them in fresh water out of the water hose and then set them in the garage to just dry on a, uh, like on top of a Plano 3600. So. Let me grab those real quick and we'll take a look at them before we check these. We're gonna look at these together. I have not looked in here. You can hear that they're in there, right? Okay, I went and got everything and we're back. I'm gonna show you guys a few things. One, this is a bomber badonka donk that I did nothing with. I don't even know, I might have to put up a still, but this was, if you can imagine, hanging on the rod. This was hooked on the hook keeper. You can see the front hook is fine. The bottom hook is corroded quite a bit. Um, that's the water pooled down here. This stayed wetter longer. The salt ate that hook up. This is a jig head with a chatterbait blade. Same situation. Uh, a little rust. I mean, I can still use it, but it did rust, right? This is one that I used the other day for the first time. Came home, dunked it in a better boat, and then uh, rinsed it, and it is flawless. There is nothing wrong with it. And this is expensive. This is a Yozuri Twitch bait. I'd rather not have to buy new Yozuris. Um, they are not cheap. There is near zero rust on this bait. The finish is fine. There's no coating on it. It's good to go. So we like that. This is one, hello, that I used the other day. Uh, this is again, another Yozuri. There is a little bit of rust on that split ring, right? So this was also hanging on the rod uh, as we came home, I clipped it and it hung. So the water pulled right there on that split ring and caused that rust. I didn't go straight back to the truck like I said I was going to. And then the issue for me going saltwater, I don't live at the coast. I live in central Virginia. I'm in the tidal zone, but it's mostly fresh. 
then we pack everything up in the truck, drive two hours, and if I don't deal with it right away upon getting home, they've just been left to be in salty water. One of the reasons I shared the hack with the antifreeze is because you can carry it with you. Well, I can carry the better boat with me too. When I was cleaning out the kayak, there was a tackle box I had put, apparently put inside of the kayak and it had moisture in it. I was doing salt water, so I kind of freaked out because it was my hard bait box. One thing I love about this, I grabbed a bucket, quickly made a diluted solution, literally took the tackle box, opened it up and just dropped all of it in the water. But let's look at this one. Like I said, this has been in here for days. Okay. Some of these baits already had a little bit of rust on them because they've kind of been around for a while and they're tangled. This is an old bomber badonkadonk. Paint finish is fine. I'm not nicking it. I can't scratch it off with my finger. Um, an old bomber long A, the new badonkadonk. This is a mirror lure that needed hooks on it two years ago. Uh, and then I've got my Yozuri pencil down here with no rust on it at all. My Badonka donks have no rust on them. The finish, the Yozuri finish isn't gonna come off. None of the paint finishes are messed up. Nothing's peeling, melting, nothing. And these have been in there for days. Again, the recommendation is to put it in for five minutes. But I'm gonna leave them in here until I can spray them. I don't want it to dry up on them. But again, if you don't like my antifreeze trick, Better boat, boat desalt concentrate. This would last you forever. I will link it below, but you add two to four ounces of desalt per gallon of water. So two ounces to a gallon of water. I didn't really measure these out when I did it. I was kind of frantic. I just kind of poured a little bit, put some water in. It's biodegradable. It's not antifreeze. So um, all of you who are in my comments flaming me last time, got a better solution. Biodegradable and it's not gonna destroy the environment and it'll save you. How much do Yozuri's cost? Like hard baits cost a lot right now, so highly recommend that. Next video, we see if we can put a spray bottle and rinse off reels. That'd be a cool one.